Hello? I am very unfaithful to my browsers. I switch as soon as I see a new nice one or when an update has just the right features I have been looking for. I even switch sometimes just for the heck of it. I use a Mac as my main machine for work and lately I have been using Chrome. But since all the controversy with Chrome making Mac sluggish and slow, you can find a link for that story in the description below, I have decided to actually test the speed of the different browsers. So let's do that. Let's level up. I'm Razumazu. I make videos about tech to help you level up your tech knowledge and skills. And today we are going to talk about browser speed on Mac OS. Browser speed can be a bit subjective because not only do we not experience load speeds the same way, but the speed also depends on many factors that are not directly related to the actual browser. If you are on a bad internet connection or your Wi-Fi is bad or the computer is spending processing power on other things, then the browser speed will be lowered. So how do we test? The way I'm going to do it here is use a site called browserbench.org. Here we can run a series of tests to test the performance of the browser and get a calculated number out of that. So instead of you getting my subjective opinion, you will get hard numbers. The tests I will be running will cover a series of browser technologies, JavaScript speed and browser graphics. The Mac I will be running this on is a 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inch, 2.3 gigahertz Intel Core i9 with 16 gigs of RAM. And it will be plugged into the power outlet. After each browser test, the Mac will get five minutes to cool off before the next test is started. I will be doing the same tests on a MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro processor really soon. So remember to subscribe and click the bell button to be notified when that video is ready. The browsers I will be comparing is the latest versions of Microsoft Edge, Chrome, Opera, Firefox and Safari. I know there are others out there, but these are the ones that most people use. No browser extensions will be running and the only program running next to the browser will be my screen recording tool. I will have Dropbox and other programs like that running in the background, but they will be the same on all the tests and won't be doing anything actively. So without further ado, let's get to it. Browserbench runs three different tests on the browsers. The first being a test to check how it handles advanced web applications. And the second test will check the graphics performance of the browser. The third test is testing different JavaScript frameworks like Angular, React and Ember. I have sped up the video a lot so you don't have to sit through all the tests, but running through the three tests took each browser about 12 minutes. First we have Chrome, and this browser is a preferred browser by many web developers because of its great plugin system and JavaScript speed. But as you will see in this test, it is actually not the fastest on our Mac. Second, we have Microsoft Edge, which is based on Chromium. My main problem with Edge is the way that Microsoft tries to get everyone to use it. Even in Windows 11, they try as hard as possible to get users to switch to it. As you can see, it comes in slower than Chrome. Then we have Firefox, which is known to be a bit slow. And as you can see, it comes in really slow when testing for advanced web app capability. But it does get a decent score in graphics and regular JavaScript department. Then we have Opera, and even though it takes a bit getting used to, I really enjoy the way Opera puts their menu on the side of the browser. Opera is a bit slower than Chrome and Edge on web apps, but very good graphics and overall JavaScript score.
Now we come to Safari and when I was running the test, it was very clear that it was significantly faster than the other browsers. The entire test finished faster than any of the other browsers. And as you can see, Safari gets a great score on everything, but its graphics completely obliterate the opposition. Here's the final chart showing all the results. I have added the numbers up and as you can see, Safari is significantly ahead of all the other browsers. And apparently I'm going to switch back to use Safari again. It is clearly faster in all these tests and it was so obvious that the test actually finished more than a minute faster on Safari than they did on the other browsers. Does this mean that Safari is the best browser to use? Well, no. If you're using a lot of browser extensions, for example, for YouTube content, or if you are a web developer, then the extensions will be so important to you that you can live without the extra speed that you get in Safari. Sadly, the extension framework for the Safari browser is more convoluted for developers than on Chromium based browsers. So there's not that many to pick from, but hopefully that will change in the future. And with that, our time together has come to an end. If you liked this video, please remember to click the like button. And if you didn't, I suggest you rewatch all of it at 75% speed. If you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe. Until next time, this is Razumazu signing off.